uh, Mum's Jenny, is that correct? Snacks, radio, notebook, firearms kit. Let's go. Kia ora whanau. I'm Lana. I'm from the Manurewa Police. Um, I'm currently with the Clendon Neighbourhood Policing Team. Uh, so I'm taking over the vlog series for Ride Along. So come along and hopefully you enjoy it. So we're um, heading into lineup. Uh, every start before shift, uh, we have briefings, um, just covering off the areas um, of what we have to look for and sort of the things that have happened in the last couple of hours. So yeah, this is a GoPro, guys. Oh, it's from my vlogging. So no phones for me. LCEC 26 Manurewa Spike Test. Parking. All right, let's get some prevention yeah, done. So we're just heading over to Green Meadows Intermediate, um, just around the corner of Manurewa. Um, we're just going to show some presents, um, interact with some of the kids. Um, they've got like a, what would you call it? Like a... Gala? Uh, yeah, like a, no, not really a gala. It's more like an open night to their students. Um, yeah, so yeah, it should be good. I think one of our boys is um, racing a kid from the school who's like the second fastest um, in New Zealand or something, so good luck to him. Glad it's not me. I'm nerve wracking. Come on, Maddie, don't disappoint us. Oh, they're going. I'm behind you. Oh, sorry. Come on, pick it up. Oh, Maddie, Maddie. 
Hill, so it's dinner time, and this is what I am having. Shout out to Hill Road. Takeaways, bunters, coming through with the goods. So I'm just heading off to work, my final late shift. Thought I'd answer another question. Uh, something I get asked all the time is about tattoos and um, how it affects work and stuff. Um, I tend to find that um, having tattoos is quite beneficial to me um, in the sense that it's an icebreaker for me and offenders or people that I'm talking to. It's kind of like they ask about my tattoos and then I notice that they have their tattoos and then I ask about theirs sort of thing and it just yeah, it's a nice way to start conversation before we get into the nitty gritty. I'm so excited for today. I enjoy coming to work. Busy, busy. So you won't be too busy. It's a Thursday. Is it Thursday today? It's Thursday. Yes, it is. Um, and it's a full moon, so we'll see how tonight goes. You don't have to be superstitious, but I swear on full moons, it is so busy. I started at 1.30, it's 5pm now, um, but just working out in Papakura, the covering front line. Um, so normally I'm on neighbourhood policing team, so we focus more closely to the community um, and prevention side of policing, whereas frontline attend one-on-one -on -one calls, um, and so that's what we're working today. PKS off at Logan. Okay. Oh, sure. PKS yes, Can you give me a call when you get a bit of an idea of what's going on? Hey, Fim. <laughs> hey, yeah, I've still got my prevention car coming out your way. Do you still need them or should I get them to turn around? We should be all good here. I'm just making one back to Pukki South. Just give Toronto a call. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to head back to Pukekoe Police Station, okay? Because um, you're in my custody, I have to give you your Bill of Rights, okay? Um, so it's your rights that you have as a kid, okay? Um, I'll give you them quickly in here, but when we get back to the police station, I'll go through it properly, okay? Um, when we get there, do you want some more spray on your eyes? You're alright? You can slowly start to open your eyes now? Cool. The initial hit really hurts, eh? Because the unit there went to... Street, yeah, because I did it. Um, I got sprayed when I was down at police college. Yeah, I volunteered. I, so, I just tried to and, call yeah. that number back. Um, Major but, regrets, uh, straight away. No <laughs> but I'm just uh, hold, hold steady, okay? Uh, Driver drove into a fence, um, and police had arrived, and we're dealing with it until another vehicle had driven past the scene, noticed that it was a family member. Um, so they got involved, became really verbal. Um, police told them to leave, um, they didn't listen, one of the females has then punched a colleague, so a police officer, um, and then it's just gone uphill from there, so three of these females were attacking one of the officers, so he called for backup, which is why I came, um, a couple of us came, and he pepper sprayed three of them. And one of them, Fanta Valley Road. I just gave a ride to the uh, Pukekohe Police Station. Um, and the Pukekohe Police, the cops here, will deal with it. I just assisted really with the transport. So heading back to Papakura. And the reason why I had the red and blues going and my siren going was because it was a priority incident. So I needed to respond um, urgently. So, so even though I'm urgent duty driving, driving above the speed limit, I still have to be very cautious um, and aware of my surroundings. Um, um, anyways, pepper spray, uh, that is so strong. Um, I had taken the handcuffs of one of the girls who had been sprayed, um, not thinking, and I went like this, and so my 
lips started burning and my eyes were a little bit sore. So it's, yeah, it does last quite a bit. Pepper spray. Oh yeah, so police don't get any special treatment when it comes to speeding and stuff. So if I go past the speeding camera right now, I'll still get a ticket on the mail. Um, and then I've got to justify why I was traveling at this speed on this road at this time. Um, so yeah, so obviously if I do get a ticket, my justification would be that I had to urgent duty drive um, to the address because someone's life was at risk or in danger. Hiya. Since I joined, I've never eaten so much takeaway food in my life. Mm. It's because you're on the go and then nothing's open when you're ready to eat. So we got a pack of packed lunch. Oh no, even if you've got a packed lunch. Like, <laughs> like today. <laughs> yeah. You brought lunch and you had cake. 